All right, guys, what's going on? Today we got something fun. We're gonna dive into, figure, change it up a little bit, get in your face a little bit. Uh, have you guys been caught up on Moon Knight? Excellent show, Oscar Isaac, Ethan Hawke, Disney Plus, Marvel. It's been epic, and of course, it airs the same day as I drop these videos. Guys, today, we're going to be talking about cataloging some of your books. This is clearly not all of my books. I just thought it would be kind of a fun, a fun change of pace. So one of the things that uh, came up in the comments a short time ago was cataloging your comic books. Now, I'm gonna tell you some of the ways that I've done it and some other collectibles and some changes I've made. But it should be a fun, should be a fun topic, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Check us out on Instagram at BreakPeriodOutDaily. And of course, check us out on Whatnot. We sell books there regularly. We appreciate everybody that's stopping by, that's checking us out. And uh, yeah, we appreciate it. So today, we're gonna change it up a little bit. Um, I'm not running on the mic. I'm moving some stuff around. I've got a couple of boxes here pulled. And I did a video a while back talking about cataloging and going through your books. Um, I'm gonna do a revision of that video soon because I've made some changes with selling on whatnot and doing other things. I've changed and adopted new methods and, and what have you. So that's exciting. That's a part of the collecting hobby, whether it's comic books, baseball cards, uh, coins, dollars, Funko Pops, what have you, is as you collect, as time goes on, as you learn things, whether it's to the buying, the shipping, the selling, the the um, where you're displaying stuff, you're gonna change your methods. And for me, in the comic book collecting hobby, I started off with a pad of paper and a pencil. And I thought, <clears throat> okay, I'll get a pad of paper, I'll start writing this stuff down, and that's the easiest method because I was not familiar with any of the new software or what have you. So I did that for a couple of weeks and was like, this sucks because as you sit there and write your collection down, I was writing down prices, years, dates, and I was like, this is not a fluid way to do this. Um, and mind you, that was a couple of years ago. So from that, I naturally gravitated toward Microsoft Excel. Why? Because I use Microsoft Excel for my job every day. I'm very familiar with it and I do tables and all these different things, spreadsheets. And I thought, okay, this is easy. I'll just put it in here and then I'll put what I think the FMV is right now. And then a few weeks go by, goes by and I'm like, this sucks too. Um, mostly because FMV was changing and it just wasn't working for what I was trying to do. So I went out to the marketplace and there are a ton. I'm not gonna dive into a whole lot of these apps and third parties, Collectors Comics, Collectors. Uh, there's a lot of other places that you guys can go to look up cataloging. I know League of Comic Geeks, I think, lets you catalog in there. Um, but naturally, I went over because I kept seeing all this stuff for Key Collector. And so I started utilizing key collector for its key collecting purposes, which I would tell you, if you're in the hobby and you wanna understand the key books better, key collector is an incredible tool. And I would encourage you to check it out. You can do the free option, you can do the pay option. Um, I have the paid option. I love reading the articles. The pricing on it, I wouldn't utilize as FMV or what grading prices are. It's merely a guide. It is not what you should be utilizing to understand where the market is at, in my opinion. But nonetheless, I got Key Collector so excited about it because I'm like, holy shit, I can look at all these different Spider-Mans. I can look at all of these different uh, Batmans and I can understand what the keys are uh, in a very quick and short order because it's an application on your phone. So get into Key Collector and I start pumping books into the catalog into there because you can put your collection in there. The catch is with Key Collector is that it only shows keys. There are tons of valuable books that are not necessarily keys. Um, and then depending on what you're collecting, maybe you co wanna collect all of the Amazing Spider-Man run or the Spawn runs or what have you. Well, that is not gonna be the place for you to do that. Now, if you wanna collect just your keys in there and that's solely the purpose of your collecting, 
hobby, then by all means, Key Collector is a great place to store that information. Again, you do lose sight of what the fair market value is, some of the collection stuff that I feel is important. So I went over to Key Collector for, again, a few weeks and I was like, this still isn't doing what I want it to do. And then after that, I looked into a ton of different um, cataloging and collectible hobbies as I continued to buy more and more books. I was like, man, I gotta understand this collection the best of my ability. And right now, pen and paper isn't working, Excel isn't working, key collector's not working, what else can I do? So upon my journey, I uh, kind of stumbled on cover price. And most of that was due to the fact of watching YouTube videos and guys mentioning cover price and then writing it down and then looking at some of these other places that people had mentioned and going through all of them. Um, I landed on cover price and here's why. You have to check out cover price. Recently they announced that they're gonna do a bunch of additions to the software. But nonetheless, cover price is an online based catalog that gives you good news as far as weekly shakers, daily movers, um, and a ton of articles. So it's a naturally a good resource of information, period. Uh, they have a huge and growing catalog of comic books, which includes fair market value and graded value for your comic books, which was extremely important to me because a raw book is not the same as a slabbed book, right? So if you have Ultimate Fallout 4 raw, it's worth X dollars graded at whatever point, which is essentially to some degree, the final value marker is at this point, you need to understand those differences. In addition to that, you wanna have hundreds, if not thousands of comic books that you know what and where they are. And Key Collector didn't have those functions, Cover Price does. Cover Price allows you to put your books in, you can add locations. So if you mark the boxes, the shelves, you can actually add that into Cover Price. You can add the dirty grade of the book. Uh, you can add signatures and say, yes, this book is signed, this, this, and this. Um, I find it to be one of the best tools um, for cataloging your books. Now, I know that there are other catalogs and I'm sure there's other companies that are possibly better, but here is a good example of what I'm talking about. Here's cover price. Hopefully you guys can see that on my phone. There it is right there. It's just pulled up. Uh, via your Safari or your, your Explorer app. You can add it to your collection. You can just see, hey, what, what's the deal with this book? Are there variants of this book? Um, here's an example of some of the sales data on it. And it's not 100%. I don't think anyone's 100% anymore, to tell you the truth. There's a variant and then some additional information, some value information if you'd like it. Sometimes they'll tell you story stuff. There's an issue or there's the, uh, issue summary, and then you can go on continuing down the line. I find that to be easy to use. Um, and for the most part, they have an epic catalog of books that you can find your book very easily. Or if you're specking to buy a book, you got to jump on there and understand the value of that book. You can look at trends, you can look at costings and so much more. The other cool thing as mentioned is cover price announced recently that they have a ton of really cool updates coming in which I hope they go to an app-based service, which removes you from using the internet and hopefully we'll have enough uh, app integrity to allow it to run more seamless and we'll add additional features. But right now, as it sits, being able to put in your comic book uh, and add things like location, raw grade, uh, slab company, slab grade, is it autographed? what you want to rate the story. Now you don't have to do all of that stuff, of course, but nonetheless, it is a very nice feature. And then you get into your collection and you can go through it. It's your collection. You can remove books. You can note how much you paid for the book. If you wanted to track, I bought Wolverine, uh, X Lives of Wolverine. This is signed by Benjamin Percy. I could put this in there and then know that I spent $7 on it or $20 or whatever it was. So if I go to sell it um, or, or trade it or what have you, all of that data is in there for you in a very easy way. Now, I do know that uh, cover price, if you have a huge collection and maybe you used Excel or CSV or notes or what have you, they can help you integrate that into their system. And again, they recently announced during their cover priced whatnot giveaway 
that they have a ton of really cool features that are going to be coming out here in the near future, guys. That's what I got for you today. I was gonna do this whole explanation thing, but you guys being the collector that you are, wherever you're at in your stage, whether you got two boxes, a thousand boxes, that part, in my opinion, doesn't matter. What matters is what you wanna do in the hobby, enjoying it, um, and utilizing tools like Key Collector for key keys, utilizing tools like Cover Price, um, to be able to catalog your goods. Now, this is not even close to my full collection. In fact, I don't have my full collection in catalog. I, I have a couple of hundred comics of my core books, and I'm going to be changing that up here in the near future as well, especially as I continue to sell and move some stuff around. I'm gonna do a video exclusively on that uh, because it's a good update, and I love sharing this stuff with you as I learn. I'm trying to educate and help you guys. And it also helps when you guys drop comments because that's where I use the idea from a comment to share this with you guys. And again, cover price is not the end all by any stretch of the imagination for cataloging your comic books. There's a ton of other really good cataloging uh, companies and services out there that can help you do this. But I would highly recommend if you are in the hobby for the long haul or even the short haul, get the tools that help educate help sustain and help you stay in the hobby. And in this case, cataloging is extremely important, just like keeping your books in order and utilizing some of the supplies and items that you uh, have available, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on cataloging your comic books. Um, I can continue this, I can do a full cover price video. If you guys want me to do that, I'd be more than happy to. Um, but I would, again, encourage you check out videos like us here at the Breakout Daily. Reggie Collects, you can check out Comic Tom 101, you can check out Journos Comics, Bry's Comics. Um, educate yourself, that's the most important thing, and make your own decisions. While there's a ton of speculation, guessing, hopes, prayers that are in there, and in this hobby, just like in many others, make your own assumptions make your own decisions and you do that by collecting real information and uh making your decisions so that's what we got guys thank you so much for hanging out with us today hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you are enjoying moon knight as much as i am guys we may do a video talking about uh moon knight and the future of the mcu in relation to comic books here pretty soon as well and uh yeah let's leave it at that thank you guys again hit the subscribe button down below check us out on ig at break period out daily Check us out over on the Whatnot at Breakout Daily. We sell comic books regularly there. That's what we got for you. We hope you enjoyed this. We'll catch up with you in the next video. Oh!